Imagine that you have this first sentence saying an Amy Schneider, an engineer manager from a client, etc. And you want to get from this test this following information. These are key information that you want to extract from your test. Make sure that you are able to identify that CNN is an organization, Amy Schneider is a person, and Friday is a date. So how do we do that? This is the process called named entity recognition and this is what we're going to cover in this tutorial so the first thing to do is to prepare your environments um, to make sure that we have everything correct we're going um, to create a new environment a new conda environment so what we have to do is to create a conda environment let's say that the name of our virtual environment is my virtual environment so this is the process of creating that, that and run accept yes to create the environment and after that we can see that the environment has been created so we can activate the environment with this command conda activate my virtual environment and what you might also want to do is to get from this virtual environment make sure that it is um available from your um jupyter notebook here so the process of doing that is to run this command make it explain a little bit run this command python ip i pykernel install username and the give the name of your virtual environment here and right after that, we have the virtual environment installed. And to be able to use that virtual environment, what you can do is to come into kernel. So just come into kernel here. We have kernel, change kernel, and then we can use the virtual environment, my virtual environment. Make sure to refresh. Just make sure. Okay, so after that we have kernel, change kernel, we get here, my virtual environment. You can see that my virtual environment has been created. Then you get this one and select. So I'm going to use this one named entity recognition environment because I have already um, done, like I have already created that virtual environment. So what we can do now is to install spacey so once we have the virtual environment installed now we can run spacey install spacey with this command pip install spacey once again i have already installed spacey so i'm not going to go through the installation process but i will provide you with all these types to make the installation like we have pip install spacey this is the command to install spacey and after that since we are going to use different approaches um, to make this process so spacey is already installed what we have to do now is to import uh, spacey let's import spacey so a second module that we need to use is uh, display C. Display C is going to help get um, the image I showed you at the beginning of the video. This graphical visualization that we can get. So this is going to be obtained from display C. So now what we have to perform is to load the large model space a large model because the benchmarking analysis is going to be done um, using spacey large model and roberta so let's run this large model and right after that we have the text that we want to get the name entity from um cnn image an engineering manager from Auckland, California, and so on to Friday's episode. So let's print this text. We have the overall text here. So what we can do next is to create instantiate a document. 
from this document what we do now is to NLP large model and from this large model we give our short sentence this short, short, short spot text here and now we have this um, we have everything in terms of document and then let's try to extract the entities from this document so we have entities in document.ent this is going to retrieve all the entities in the text and then we print entity text from the text we print the error and get the corresponding label so now we have from this text spacey was large model was able to tell that cnn is an organization a missionator is a person and so on and one million dollar is money so this is good what if we want to get this um, graphical visualization this is where um this place it comes to into into showing this uh, information so this place dot render we give the document we allow jupiter through in style we want to show the entities and then run this is the result that we get we have the same result as the previous one but this way we have a graphical representation and yeah that's all we get from this on short sentence let's try with a much longer sentence so this is a long sentence that we have good news from consumers undoubtedly so i got this text from eToro website it's the exact same text that we have here good news for consumers and so on till we get mac and apple watch so this is the exact same text that i copy pasted here so let's run the same process go through the same process of um creating the long document using nlp long, large model we give the long document and after that we use go straight use display c to show all the entities so here is the result um we have apple obviously apple is an organization in the three months to december 31st 2016 is a date but have a closer look here we have um mark has been identified as an organization which is not true mark is a product apple watch is also identified as an organization which is not as well the case because it's a product and here as well we have iphone identified as an organization so this is where the large um space model is um making mistake let's see how we can if we can get better results using um another model which is the transformer roberta model so what we do is just load the specific transformer roberta um, model with this instruction so we get roberta um, spacey dot load the name of the model so here we run the loading process of the model so go through the same process again once this is loaded what we have to do is to take this short text so let's take um, short text here go back here and get this short test let's see documents get document is short test so instead of using nlp large model this time we use the roberta um nlp model on the short text and next is take this one and print we have the same process the process does not change um much so print here we have entity from documents and here we have the same results using um large i mean roberta nlp model on this short text we have the same result and let's have a look at using the longer text so let's take the long document here from the long document we have roberta nlp which is the 
model apply to the long text and after that we generate the visual representation using this long document here it is this is the final result that we get from roberta model as uh, let's have a look at the kind of comparative analysis using these two results we have ipo iPhone here um, services identified as organization and Roberta identified that as where is it okay iPhone here is kind of combined as an organization but Roberta model split it as iPhone identified as a product and service identified as a product which I believe it makes sense because we are providing services about product and this is identified as a product and also Mac has been Mac Apple watch iPhones here have been all identified as product so from these two examples we have Roberta models uh, model being um, doing like good job compared to a simple spacey large model so this is where uh, named entity recognition can be helpful if you like this video give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next one bye bye